DesignSpark Mechanical is very well suited to doing mechanical design or mechanical design around electrical parts and components. It gives you all the tools you need to create anything that you can imagine in 3D. You can connect to things like 3D printers through outputs such as SDL, OBJ or VRML. I used it for one hour and I was already quite familiar with it so I think it's a really easy to learn program. One of the things I like a lot is how you place components in the structure. Compared to other tools that are on the market, you really need to think where I do place a, a part or an assembly or, or even a solid or something. You, you just start creating and then when you're finished, you move it into the right position. That, that's pretty cool. One of the features I really like. One of my favorite features that's proved really valuable today, especially, is the cross-section features. You know, because we're creating assemblies that have multiple parts. So the ability to view parts uh, where you can actually see what's going on inside of them makes it really easy to see how stuff intersects, you know, collides, and then make the necessary changes. You can create a design like a cube or something like that, and then rather than having to try and figure out how to make all of the walls exactly one millimeter, you click a button and say, excavate this shape, and it goes and turns it into a shell. And I haven't seen that anywhere else. And you just think, that's great. That makes my life a whole lot easier. And that's, that's very cool. The thing I liked about the software was the fact that it's free. Um, when I was a teacher, finding software to use uh, was really hard. And the fact that you can combine this with a 3D printer will actually maybe uh, incorporate 3D printers into the schools a lot easier as well. With the online library of uh, RS components, it's really great that it's integrated and you directly have within a few seconds, you just have all the drawings in your system, so you don't have to design them by yourself. So that's really great. It's got a very nice tube feature you see on our design. We have made this, this kind of cable which goes from the electrical wow. device down to the sensor. And that was very, very easy to do. You just define a spline inside the space, in the 3D space. And then you click one button and the cable is done. And that, that, was, that was really amazing. That, that really brought me into it. <laughs> The one thing that I can see that's going to be really exciting is that um, when you're using conventional CAD software, you all develop your own styles of building things, and that can sometimes make for almost a disconnect between the design process and the end result, whereas when you're working with something that's closer to direct modeling, it means I can just pick up where you left off, and it doesn't really matter what my style is, we'll still achieve the end goal. We had some ideas, and some people of the team didn't know exactly what some people were saying, so. We just designed some simple stuff to show, hey, this is the idea. And then, yeah, it's a lot easier to explain something with a small image than just some words. So we are already using it. And it's really easy too.